So today's session is about familiarization. Understand how Calendarize works. How do I navigate? How do I search? How do I print a document? How do I email? Those kinds of things. This is not about warehouse. This is not about the CFS or finance or anything. This is gene generic, general training. It's functions that you use in every module, whether it's an invoice or an account payable, or general ledger or warehouse or transport or CFS. It's all the same functionality. So it's important to get comfortable uh, with the basics of how the system functions. So this is, when you log into CargoWise, you use this icon here. And that logs you into this section. And this is called the WISE Cloud. <coughs> Otherwise, uh, is on the cloud. In uh, there's a cloud all over the world, and Cargowise is in the cloud, so it means it's hosted somewhere else, which means you can access the software from any office, any computer, anywhere if you want. So you can access it any time. You've got two systems. One is PTB TRM, and one is PTB ERD. TRM is your transport, is your training system, and this one is your production system. So the training, you can do what you want. You can break it, I don't care. Try it, test and play. Just do whatever you want in that system to become comfortable before we go live. The more you do in the system, the more comfortable you become, the more your go live will be less painful. Yeah? So when we log in, <coughs> we'll now connect you to the, uh, to the cloud system. Okay, so this is what we call the landing page of Cargo Wise, the landing area when you 
log in. This is the, uh, the main section. But we all log in. So a little bit of uh, this screen. This is your landing page again. What we have on this side is the menu. So this is your menu structure. Down below we have help. And it's important to remember about the help. So the help section will give you a bit of information. But the most important one is the My Account, this one here, and the e-request. Right, they're two very different things. One is the My Account, don't card otherwise. We'll take you to the website again. But this time it will take you to the list of videos. So you can watch a video if you feel you want to learn about, I don't know, let's go find a video. One look at organizations, and I want to look at this video. How do I create an organization? I can press it and it will start back. Right, so if I oh, where's the sound? I don't know where the sound is. But this will show you a video of how to do a certain function. There's about, I don't know, 500 videos online. So there's a lot of information. So if you feel you're stuck and you don't want to ask anyone, there's always this information you can get to. So remember, we can go to my account at the help. And then we go to myaccount.cargoise.com. The other thing to remember is an e-request or incident. An e-request or incident is <clears throat> how do I log an issue with Cargoise? I have broken it or I can't, something's not working. I can then log an incident to Cargoise. I can do that. Go. It's a training question. <clears throat> Just go to type a little message. Hello, Cargo Wise, how do I invoice? And then you can send them a message through this. And then they'll respond to this. So you get an email from them through the system. So the two important things to remember is on the help menu is your my account, and you've got new requests. <clears throat> so do we want to, I don't know if you want to create a new request, but it's, um, yeah, when you when you log in, just click on that, and it will take you take you to that module. Not any systems that are integrated anymore. I don't know why. We'll have a couple ones in here. Which means the changes that you make in one module quite often will change another one. You see, if I change an organisation, for instance, a, a customer name, it's going to be changed everywhere, for instance. Now, if we have a look up here, the menu structure. <coughs> so what we've got here is your list of menus right at the top. We've got jump, operate, manage, and maintain. And the reason why they do it that way, we'll, we'll come back to the jump, jump menu. But let's look at the operate menu. So the operate menu gives you all the operational functions in the system. So things like transport, warehouse, <coughs> customs, line owner, agency, all the, all the operational stuff, not the finance, but all the operational. So if I click on one of these, it shows me the different functions within that module. So I'm the warehouse, I now has orders and picking and packing and releasing and dispatching and all that kind of stuff. If I click on forwarding, it's entirely different again. It's specific to the module entry. So the operate menu is the operational stuff where most of you will live, with the exception of the finance and probably the senior managers. Most of what your job will be will be in the operator section. The next option is manage. And the manage section is where the business management functions come in. This is your general ledger, your accounts receivable, your accounts payable, your invoices, cash books, all that kind of stuff. So most of you won't come into this area. Um, so we won't focus on that too much today. Anymore. We then have the maintenance section. Maintain is where we set up master data. So we set up customers, we set up addresses, we set up products, warehouses, truckers, all those kind of maintenance functions. So again, if you click on a, one of the buttons, it takes you down. Now, the guys that have CargoWise open, can you please go down to organization for me under maintain and reference files? Below it, we have all the filters. 
And filters are very, very, very important in CloudWise. You live with filters. Everything is driven with filters in CloudWise, so you have to become comfortable with using filters. Now, a filter is a way for you to only see in information that I want to see. So, for instance, in organizations, I only want to see organizations that are into government. Or I only want to see organizations starting with the letter S. Or I only want to see, only want to see organizations that are customer. I don't want to see tracking companies. I want to see customers. So, filters allow me to limit what I see. Because if you think about how many organizations you'll have in the system, there'll be thousands and thousands and thousands. So, for you, Filtering is very difficult. In operations, it's the same thing. In the warehouse, so it, you know, when in the warehouse filters, I only want to see orders that have to be done today. I only want to see orders that have to be done today that haven't been finished, so they're still in action. Those are the way that we filter to show me dashboards that are more relevant. Okay. Now we can have multiple filters. Only organizations in Jakarta, or only organizations starting with an S or only organizations in Jakarta and starting with this. So we can filter based on multiple levels if you wish. So let's use that as an example. So whoever's logged in, let's do, the, do what I'm doing at the moment. So use the drop down. I want you to use the drop down. I want you to find name. I want to search by name. Now, the first thing you'll notice is there's probably 60 different things you get filtered by, which is crazy. It's too much. Now, I don't even know where name is. I can't see it. And, you know, you've got to drag it down. You've got to go, oh, you know. It's difficult to do. Mm -hmm. So what they've given us is the ability to search, to just start typing. I want to search by name. So if I just start typing the first few letters of the filter that I'm looking for, it will pack the name down for me. So I know that there's my name, OK? So can we select that? Do, do the same, please, and let's go into the name. So let's start, let's filter for something. Let's search for something with a name starting with, and you choose. Choose the letter, A, B, C, or enter a few letters. So for instance, I'm looking for all organizations starting with the ESA. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. No problem, no problem. We all okay? Good. So, if you, if you type in too much, it makes it very difficult to find the exact thing I'm looking for because if you, if you have too many spaces, not enough spaces. So sometimes, you, when you've got 10,000 organizations, it's easier to put in a little bit of information than too much information. Okay? So in this example, maybe just start with yeah, perfect. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So okay yeah. here? Let's go find. So clicking on find will filter the information that I'm looking for. So now I look, I look for a very specific name. I'm looking, for, I'm looking for an organization that starts with ESA. Now, let's, let's go one step more. Instead of having more than one, I want you to only have one letter up here. I just know that the company starts with E. But I want you to add another filter. And to do that, we add a plus sign. So plus. Right? That adds another line. 